What is up guys, welcome back to Black Mirror. If I'm not mistaken, the only thing I really had to do... ...was just go back to the manor, I think. I can't leave. Wait, you can't leave? Why not? What did we miss? I guess I'm gonna have one more lap around the building. Wait until Samuel actually decides to move his ass. Oh my god. The church is locked. Yeah, so we know this. I'm gonna have a good, good look around because this game can be a bit of a pixel hunt at moments. Look at that giant window though, that is cool, that is awesome. I love it. Okay, let's, um, hmm. There seems to be nothing else here. Can I show the picture to the dude? No. Can I show the morning card to the dude? No. Can I talk to him again? May I disturb you? Take your time, buddy. Not for long, I've got a lot of work to do. Has Father Frederick returned yet? No, he hasn't. It's a long journey from Winshire. He won't be back until tomorrow. tomorrow. I see. I'd like. You'd like to go inside the church, but I already told you about that. Now go. I have to finish this before dusk. Uh, what's going on? It's seven o'clock. If the vicar is not here, then who the fuck is ringing the bells? His word. His man will be waiting there for me. Right, let's do that. What's up, buddy? You must be Dr. Herman's man, is that right? I'm not Herman's man. I just yes. work for him from time to Wait, time. Wait, aren't you owned by somebody? You're Samuel Gordon, aren't you? I've got something to deliver. Yes, please give it to me. Yeah, why not? I don't care who you are anyway. How fucking dare I was you? I supposed to give this package to whoever came to this gate at seven. That's when my job is over. Take it so I can go. Hold on a minute. Are you Mark? Yeah, that's me. Why? Harry said you had worked in our garden. Oh, that's him, I a see. Couple of times. So what? I'd like to ask you about William Gordon. What can you tell me about him? Hmm. Nothing. Well, I barely knew him. I just worked in the garden. Oh, I'm in a hurry. Do you want oh, I'm anything in a hurry. else? <laughs> no, thanks. Good. See you around. See you, buddy. Bye. I hope I'll find what I'm looking for. Don't you worry about a thing, man. With me at the helm, you're bound to, like... Uh, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Uh, let's just look in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? No. Seven. No. Let's There's see. Only a watch and a few trinkets in it. Um. Yeah, this is the personal effects box, wasn't it? Uh, I see. So, wow. I'll open it. You do you that. Made a remark of some kind here. Seriously, <laughs> what kind of obtuse bullshit is this? You open the box to find the watch, you open the watch to find the paper. Am I gonna open the paper and find like a strip of cocaine? What's the deal? A gold pocket watch. Beautiful handiwork. To my forgetful head, the path to the key begins in the library. On my work table, hidden away under the blue curtain of unwritten words. Right. In other words, this is something I could have figured out if I just lifted up some blue thing when I was back there, but Samuel just sternly refuses. Oh boy. Wait, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the map. Just to make sure I don't miss any events. Let's see. 
I guess I'm gonna go back to the library. It's the only lead I have. And I'm going to somewhat loosely assume that there are no multiple endings in this game. Which means I can't really miss anything. I hope. Oh, the doctor is fucked off, I see. Right, the blue curtain and the thing. Blue curtain. Blue curtain of unwritten words. Wait, what is, was I able to be full of books or old paper? I won't bother opening them. I see. Wow, you're such a lazy fucking bastard. You if I wasn't here to guide you, you would be the worst fucking sleuth. Jesus. Everything you try to touch, you just refuse because you're such a lazy fucking bastard. The local no, I don't. Marcus, I don't want to read it again. Therefore, one thing, as with the new, I don't the give a shit. Despite the, when they saw, not ever, if it had Jesus gone, Christ! There was no, no buddy, Adam stop talking! Stop! Stop talking! Recorded by there we go. So the blue curtain of unwritten words. The blue curtain of unwritten words. Ooh. Oh, of course, the ink. That makes sense. Okay, that is cool. That makes sense. There's a button under the inkwell. I'll try to press it. You do your best, buddy. I know you're hard, like, have troubles doing things with your hands, but... Ooh. Oh, is that a secret, like, drink stash? That is amazing. I love it. There's a box of some sort. I'll take it. Ah, there we go. Those must be the planets. Miniatures of the planets of the solar system. Carved from hardwood. Fuck, I don't know my planets by heart. Holy shit. I'm assuming Pluto is still gonna be in there. Since this game takes place... Uh, in boomer time, but still. Okay, let's have a look. So, we use the thing on the thing. There we go, look at that. Okay. The small one, I assume, is Pluto. The red planet he doesn't give any comments, which is bad. This is Earth. Earth is the third rock from the sun. So, one, two, three. Uh, before Earth, we have... No, after Earth, we have Mars. I'm assuming this is Mars. Oh, shit. I'm really bad at this. I'm really fucking bad at this. Um, so let's assume this is Mars. And then before Earth, we have Venus and... Maybe this is Venus and... Holy shit, I, I totally didn't realize how bad I was at this. Saturn and Neptune are somewhere in the middle. Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, Venus, Mars, Earth. I'm missing three planets from my memory, holy shit. Yeah, this is not gonna do it. I have like a rough idea of how our solar system got started, and that kind of helps in thinking about which size each planet should have, but... Venus, Mars, Neptune, Saturn. How could I not even remember the planets in our own fucking solar system? That is atrocious. I'm not gonna figure this out. I, I just don't know. I, I'm gonna have to look. How did I forget about Uranus, the most hilarious of planets? Um, Let's see, so we have... Mercury. We have 
Venus, which kind of looks like this. We have Earth, we have Mars. Wait, these might be switched. These are probably switched. This is Venus. Um, that is definitely Earth. Mars is here. Then we have Jupiter, which is... Wow, that looks very different, but I'm assuming this is Jupiter. And then after Jupiter, we have Saturn with his rings, and then we have Uranus, <laughs> um, and Neptune. I'm assuming... Wait, which one is Uranus? Like this then? Or maybe switch these two around? No. Um, well... Shit. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Jesus. That was totally not clear. That's it. That must be William's key. Okay. The key to what? Is it the key to the roof? Or like the tower? Or was the deal? The key to William's study in the old tower. Okay, let's fuck off then. Let's fuck some ass. Come on, buddy. Fucking Sherlock Holmes up in this bitch. We know planets and shit. We totally didn't look that up. And even after looking it up, still failed. No, sir, no. We totally did that thing. Okay, let's see what's up in the tower. It, it, I hope it's good. It better be good. Because goddamn. The fucking shit I had to go through. The fucking plebs I had to talk to just to get here. Um, I left William's key on the other side of the door. Dude, you are such a complete fucking moron. How would you leave the key open on the outside? Oh my fucking god, I am in charge of a chromosomally challenged buffoon. The lid is locked. I see. Okay. What's that? Acetone. What's the guy like doing chemistry? What the hell? Chessboard. Nice. Let's play some chess. Come on, buddy. Black rook is missing. And that is relevant. Why? So the roof, like the window is still open. The guy fell out like days ago. They buried him and the, the window is still open. What is this shit? I see. I don't think these can help me. Well, maybe you have to figure out when the stars align. Oh, perhaps. I'm not interested in them at the moment. The lid won't move. That's because you have, like, pussy power. You should really, like, go to the gym or something, Samuel. Look like a scrawny piece of ass. The lid won't Right, so what am I actually doing here? Everything I tried to touch just doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Several scrolls scribbled over with notes. There isn't anything useful on them. Well, I'm glad you figured that out by yourself without me having to read them all. That's that's great. Let's see, what do we have here? Come on, buddy. What do we have? Hmm. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Lots of scrolls and papers, but none with William's writing. I see. He must have been recording the important notes somewhere. Hmm. I found a rook. Why? Don't tell me that chess piece is gonna, like, do something useful if I put it on. That doesn't make any sense.
Did I find the music box? And it's very important that the music box play the whole way through. Right. As though I've heard that melody somewhere before. Did you now, buddy? Are we going to be haunted by ghosts of the past? Is that the whole deal? As though I've heard that melody somewhere before. Hmm. Right, let's go shove that black rook right on top of it. See, this shouldn't be a mechanism. It doesn't... It's just a table. That doesn't make any sense. If this is going to do something, I am going to be... Um... Weird. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, that is kind of cool. The black rook is actually a knife. That is neat. Um, but what do I use it for? What do I actually use it for? Wait, what am I doing? I'll try to push the latch. Over. You do that, buddy. Success. Are you telling me we just came here for a music box? Come on. There's two massive fucking chests. And we're just gonna give up. Oh, I can look in the drawer. Ooh, what do we have? Um, buddy, buddy, can you please tell me what's inside? Thank you. Let's see, we have a book, and that seems to be about it. Hmm. This title makes no sense. What is that? I'll have a closer look. Spiller's balanced rations. Was that it? There's a small key inside the book. Ooh. The pages have been cropped so as to hide it. I'll take it. Hmm. A little key. It was hidden between the clipped pages of Robert's book. How the fuck do you know it's Robert's book? Wait, what was that? What was that? No, 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 no. What was it? Oh, nothing. Okay. Never mind. I'm assuming the key goes to the chest. Right. Um, buddy. You know if I put a key in there somewhere, you just know you have to open it. You can't just wait for me to click on it. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Hmm. Old maps, a glow, and a sextant. <laughs> what did William sextant. Ooh, we have a perfectly It's cold to the touch. Perfectly spherical orb. Kinda reminds me of uh amnesia, to be honest. Let's have a look at it. It's strange to the touch. Strange how? Give me like some more eloquence, buddy. You can't just say everything is strange, it kinda dulls out the experience. Is that it? Is that really it? That's everything. I guess it is. I don't particularly have anything else to do here. The lid won't move. I guess I'm gonna have to go around. I need to explore William's study thoroughly. Okay, never mind. I, I missed something. Okay, that's fine. What did I miss? What? did I miss? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I can't look out the window. Hmm. There was nothing else in the chest, was there? No, not, not really, no. Nope. So what am I still doing here? A roll top desk, okay, yeah. I think I've seen everything there is to see in the desk, so... What am I still doing here? I 
seriously. Do I need to use my newfound orb thing? Oh, can I open the jewel box? No. What do I do with the orb? Can I put it somewhere completely irrational? Hmm. Well then, I am quite at a loss. I'm not too sure what the game is expecting of me at this point. The only thing that is left to interact is the chest. The lid won't move. So give it a little push. The lid won't move. I need to find something to open this lid, I assume. But what? Well then, I'm stuck with this idiot in this room. I need to explore William's study. And he doesn't want to leave. This is good news for everybody involved. Um There's nothing else here. Come on. There is nothing else. Well, there's a drawer here, it seems, but still. I don't think I can interact with that, no. A book has been glued to the bottom side of the drawer. You are kidding! Diary of William Gordon. William's diary. Excellent. Yeah, so in case you're unaware of what just happened there. I'll finally learn what happened that night. If you March twenty first. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm old let old. him talk. I know my time is drawing in, and that is why I want to put some sense into my life before I leave this world. I have contributed my last years to looking for the truth about my family and the blood that runs in my veins. Maybe it is also because of the guilt that I bear in my heart for the fate of my dear James. The fate that I didn't have the courage to change. After all the years spent with the old journals, I know at last what the goal of my search is. I must not lose time. March 23rd. In the chronicle of the manor and the old records in the library, I have learned things that were forgotten and much that is new. I learned that James is not the only one to have lost full control of his mind. Throughout the centuries, several of my blood ancestors have suffered from the same affliction that now curses James. It seems as though it is all somehow correlated, has a perverse purpose of some kind. I traced the family line and learned that every one of those poor souls had been born in the same week repeating with a period of two centuries. Is the madness supposed to be punishment of some sort? A punishment for deeds so horrible that we have not been pardoned, even after 700 years? I am terrified by this idea. It follows me now, day and night. April 5th. I feel something is not right with me. I am weaker from day to day. My age has caught up with me at last. As the Chronicle foretells, the way to revealing the truth is through five symbolic keys. I don't exactly know what their purpose is, but if they can lead me to the truth, I must obtain them. I have decided to pursue first the ones that have been carried over time far from my manor. Centuries ago, the keys were given to different men of our family for safekeeping so that they couldn't be used together. Luckily, I still have my own with me, and obtaining James's key should not be difficult. If only I had known before what I know today, I would not have given it to him. 
The next one must be in the hands of Marcus himself, according to the records. The fourth one was given to Durgham Gordon, the original owner of the remote manor in Wales. I must set off for Wales soon, that is certain. I still do not know where the fifth key is. Its origin eludes me in the many years of the past. When I obtain the other ones, I must find this last one too. April 15th. I have returned from Wales. My searching was futile. It was not easy to get into the family tomb. Unfortunately, I failed to reveal the next fragment of truth and returned home empty-handed. Not all hope is lost, however. I will focus on the keys that James and Marcus possess. It should not be hard to obtain them. April 21st. I cannot change what has happened in the past of my ancestors, but I hope I can influence the events of the future. The curse that has plagued our family must be of dateless origin. It must stretch into times as distant as those of Marcus and Mordred, the first Gordons. I have decided to start looking for answers at the place where the body of Marcus rests. I know that the tomb is concealed in the dark underground of the parish. Its entrance has long been lost in forgetfulness. No one knows where to begin to look for it. I will set off for the vicarage tonight, April 26th. Whatever it is that is buried underneath Warm Hill, it is not easily within reach. It took me several days before I discovered an extraordinary pedestal with numerous tiny and meticulously shaped stones in the belfry. The whole pedestal is a complex mechanical lock. Surely it will open the way to the church's underground for me. I tried to change the positions of the opposite stones, but it was beyond my will to fully concentrate. I was too tired to attempt to set up the mechanism properly. Before I left for home, I made a drawing of the whole mechanism and returned the stones to their original configuration. Tomorrow I will go to Warm Hill as early as possible. April 27th. Luck was on my side today. I opened the way leading to the tomb of Marcus. Surely, I'm the first one in centuries to have succeeded in doing so. How great was my surprise when I descended into the tomb. There was not a trace of Marcus's grave. Nothing. His body must be hidden somewhere. I hope that the answer lies in the four books surrounding the center of the tomb. Shall wisdom be your way? writes an old text carved in stone. Even after his death, wisdom protects Marcus as it has in his life. I am almost positive that the first answer is map. Despite the darkness, I tried to write down the text from the books, but it was easier to memorize it. I also found it extraordinary, in all probability, a ceremonial object in the shape of a perfect sphere. When I touched it, it was as though whole long centuries breathed on me. An odd feeling. May 7th. I am afraid of this night. I have not slept for two days now, and I hear voices. Yes, human voices. There are dozens of them. Their whispering is melting my ears into a sea of horrifying noise. What's happening with me? Am I mad too? No, I repudiate that now that I am so close to the truth. Wow, okay. So the family has a long history of uh, cuckoo craziness. That's, um... Yeah, that, that's very, very... Uh, frictional game style, isn't it? I mean, this game came first, obviously, but it's just a very similar style sort of taking the Lovecraftian idea of that which must not be known. I guess that's everything. I don't think I can find anything more in here. Yeah. I'm feeling so strange. Oh buddy. Buddy, you're not gonna like My head. pass out on take your pills. Really? You just suddenly pass out and then you get up again. Wait. 
I think that might be a bug. <laughs> Sir, you're awake at last. We were starting to worry that something might have happened to you. What happened to you, Samuel? I don't know. All of a sudden, my head started to ache. Why am I naked? I cannot remember anything after that. Which one of you undressed me? I make it to my room? Base found you lying unconscious in the attic. Are oh, you dirty, dirty yes. man? I was going to tidy up there when I saw you lying on the floor. I hurried to get Sir Robert, and then we carried you to your bed so that you could have a rest. And you undressed me. I told you, Samuel, that you should take Disgusting. a rest after such a long journey. Perhaps you are right. I have no idea what happened. I vaguely remember having a strange dream, but I cannot figure out what it means. Important thing is that you're all right. Yes, that's true. It would be best for you to sleep for a while. This time, I will follow your advice, Robert. Good. We shall leave you alone then. If it gets worse, yeah, I, somehow I don't believe this. Thank you. Hopefully, I will be all right now. Come, Bates. We shall leave Samuel to his rest and return as soon as I'm in the deep slumber. Yeah. Robert is right. I should take a rest. Tomorrow, I'll find out more than today. And there we have it. That was the first day done. I guess I'm just gonna cut it here. That seems like a perfect place to stop.